Back by popular demand, it's me, Axial GT. Okay, maybe no demand, and definitely not popular. Anyway, I'm back. Let's talk about the low-end PC gaming savior. Before we begin, a little PSA, or public service announcement. This might be a little bit old news, but it's still very important. Intel recently patched a bunch of security vulnerabilities in their outdated wireless and Bluetooth drivers. So you should be updating to the latest drivers. While most of the vulnerabilities can rear their ugly head, only if you are connected to a public network, better err on the side of caution and get the newest drivers for your network adapters. This goes for people running Intel and AMD boards. FYI, some AMD boards use Intel network adapters. Yeah, I know, it's like cats and dogs living together. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria! But it's the world we live in, so update your drivers. Okay, before we discuss the possible low-end PC gaming savior, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Only you, the viewer, can help this channel grow. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get back to your regular scheduled programming. We have all seen GPU and other PC components take a sharp price increase and drop as here of late, but they're nowhere near they should be. Even even at MSRP, the low end is still pretty expensive. And whether it be shortages, AIB partners screwing us with increased prices over MSRP, miners hogging all the supply, or scalpers, the fact is that higher prices are here to stay. It will get better, but never down to where it started before the zombie apocalypse. While I believe karma is real, I'm really waiting for all those people, including the AIB partners and scalpers, to be forced to wipe their asses with a pineapple for the rest of their lives. But none of that solves the issue at hand. PC gaming is becoming a rich person sport. The latest from NVIDIA, the RTX 3050, decent card, but the MSRP is $250. Not that you can buy it for that, but that's the new entry point, and I call BS. An AMD's RX 6500 XT, another bullshit card that had promise, but was gutted with bad decisions. PCIe x4 and lack of encoding killed it. Most low spec gamers don't have PCIe Gen 4 and are running Gen 3. So who was the 6500 XT for? Entry level cards are usually purchased by people with older Gen tech. If it wasn't for those two issues, the encoding and the bandwidth issue, the $200 MSRP might have seemed as a help to the shortage issue. But instead of praise, AMD became the butt of many jokes. Because that's what the card is, a joke. A mobile GPU slapped on a board and sold as a desktop GPU. Okay, rant over. Imagine if you will, the same 6500 XT with all of its 16 CUs of graphical goodness and not hampered by its shortcoming, made into an APU. I'm using AMD as an example because right now, they are ahead in the iGPU race. All this is possible and selling it for $250 to $300. Imagine a six or eight core CPU with hyper-threading or SMT, if we're talking about AMD, paired together with the graphical power to give you 1080p gaming, low and medium settings at a decent price. In my opinion, eventually, low-end GPUs are going to go away. The price to performance is just not worth it. Next-gen boards support DDR5, and faster memory is what today's APUs need. Low-end GPUs like the 6500 XT and the RTX 3050 are not viable options for the entry level given their price. It's pricing low-end gamers out of the market, and they would be better off buying a gaming laptop or going to console. So this is what I'm asking. Kind of an open letter to Lisa Sue. Instead of pushing a shit card, why not put these resources into a slightly more powerful APU? The next-gen APUs are rumored to have 12 CUs of RDNA 2, given around 1050 Ti performance. Today's games are demanding. A few more CUs, like up to 16, like the 6500 XT, paired with the faster DDR5 memory, 1080p at medium settings, should be doable. That is what I believe will save the low-end gamer. And with an APU, we wouldn't have to worry about AIBs jacking up the prices or miners hogging all the supply. But that's my thoughts. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for future Axial GT content. I really do appreciate you watching. Until next time, my friends, I am out of here. You all have a good one. You're still here? It's over. Go home.